Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my kitchen. So I'm going to work on um, a sketch for me piece for the collaboration inspired by the future. Um, we were going to do this sooner, but everybody had stuff going on, so it had to be cancelled. But I've just lost my mojo. I haven't been creative or anything for months now. Um... And I'm just trying to get back into it with a few sketches. And I made a little mouse the other day, um, just out of scraps, fabric. Um, so I'm going to try and do this sketch. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is, um, I was, I live in a small town, Hartlepool. Well, it used to be small, really small. But um, since... Uh, trying to live a healthy lifestyle I'm walking more and stuff so as I'm walking I'm noticing stuff um because when you're driving you don't seem to notice do you you're just fixated on the road and just trying to stay stay safe and get to your desti destination so you don't really notice much but with walking you do and what I've noticed a lot is that um there used to be like farmlands and stuff like that um and it's not now, it's just houses. They're just building houses. Hartlepool is getting just larger and larger. Um, just walking around places that used to be just like open fields and or maybe it's a children's playground or just derelict land. But it's not, it's just houses. Constant, constant building of houses. And it's a shame... Um, because we're just losing all that greenery. And you know what I'm saying about, what was it, two or three months ago, coming home in a taxi from the local pub, and there was a fox ran across the road, and I was just, like, shocked, mortified, really, because when you think of it, the reason why you're seeing foxes in your towns is because the developers are just knocking the trees down and all the stuff for the wildlife to live in, aren't they? And it's just a shame, so there's not enough food for the foxes and that. So they're coming into town to eat out of rubbish bins and stuff that us dirty humans have dumped. Um, yeah, and it's just a shame. We're just losing all our greenery. I mean, you need air, uh, you need um, trees, don't you, for oxygen. And it just, it's really, uh, really, really sad. Um, I know people need houses to live in, but I also see a lot of houses, well, a lot of streets. They're aborted up. I mean, don't they think to buy that land and knock down all those properties that are aborted up, drop them to bits, and then build on that instead of building on the green? Ooh, I just feel so mad and sad, really. So, what I was thinking, um, oh, Ziggy, what Ziggy was thinking was to do a sketch of, like, a few houses because... There'll be no, in the future, there'll be no land at all to build properties on, will there? So it'll have to go up into the clouds. So I'm going to sketch some flying houses. <laughs> Whether or not that turns out right or not. But in um, I should have done my research better. I don't know what country it is. This is Tokyo or something like that. And they haven't got any land to build on because the, they're going up and with the skyscrapers. And they're actually making these uh, islands in the sea so they can build uh, real estate on, um, which is so sad, isn't it? Um, yeah, so they're, they're always trying to build the tallest tower, so they'll be in the clouds soon. So, yeah, I just thought some houses with maybe wings on, um, propellers like helicopters, balloons, because it was that uh, animation cartoon, wasn't there? Well, I shouldn't say animation cartoon. Animation. What was it called? Up. And that was, the house was full of balloons, wasn't it? On the roof and it was floating. I don't want to copy off that. Um, well, anyway, enough blabbering. Um, but this is supposed to be the intro. And I haven't even mentioned the important stuff, have I? Um, so, Annie Claxton and myself um, decided to do this group. Um... And we asked other fellow artists. Oh, I don't like calling myself an artist. I'm a hobbyist. We asked some creative people if they'd like to join us. Um, and now they are our friends. Uh, really good friends and nice. And um, 
Oh, look, I'm just babbling now. This is what you, happens when you don't work off a script. But if I work off a script, work off a script, I get more tongue-tied and it just doesn't sound genuine, doesn't sound cohesive, doesn't sound... It doesn't go with the flow. Anyway, just blabbering now, aren't I, Ziggy? Um, yeah, so... I'll leave the details down below. Um, if you'd like to join us, you can. Um, there's a link to add your... I don't know it off the top of my head because I always get it wrong. So I will ask Annie and I'll put that in the links. I'll put the links of every other creative folk who are taking part in this collaboration. I just can't wait to see what they come up with. I bet they're much more prepared than me because where are we on now? I think it's the 27th and we've got to show our pieces on the 29th. Normally I'm a really good planner and I usually plan a month ahead but not this time. Um, is that all I've got to say? Oh do you think this uh, intro is going to get cut out? Do you think it is Ziggy because I'm just babbling on? Um, well, if I forgot anything, I can always stick it in at the end, can I? Anyway, so just get cracking. So, do I want the paper this way or this way? I better roll my sleeves up and sharpen my pencil. That's not a very good start, is it? I was reorganising my pencils and stuff the other day and um, I put them somewhere and I can't find it. Them. So, if I do it this way, oh, just I'm not going to use rulers. Oh, when I tried urban sketching, I used rulers, but the fun with urban sketching is just rough, isn't it? And then you add the details later, or it depends if you how much details you want to add. Um. Hmm. I don't want to go for a modern house. I really like fantasy, so maybe a fantasy house. I've been into mushrooms a lot lately, making them and stuff like that. No, I don't. I don't want a mushroom house. Um, let's see, but I do want a, a door like this, an arch door, because I like them. Um, do I want it like a cottage? Yeah, because I could do like, draw the house, then some, yeah, green, greenery. And, oh yeah, it could be like, just say, uh, there's the house. And... Just say the steps and then some bushes. Because uh, if it was just the house, the house would just be floating, wouldn't it? But if it's like almost as if it's been plunged out of the earth like a carrot would, it would have the um, mud bit, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe some roots dangling down from the greenery. and Yeah, I think I'll do something like that. Um... Right. I think that's a bit too square. So maybe it's a bit like as if it was a tree trunk. Yeah. Because I don't want straight edges, do I? Um. And I think on cottages, don't they have like, it's like... Do you call a rappel or a, a beam? But for the beam to stay in place, you'll need some of these supports, won't you? Um, and in a 3D form. Um, this is just a rough sketch, it's not going to be the complete, unless it turns out brilliant and then it will be a complete version. 
Yeah, that's something like what I want, but a bit too big, I think. Um, so that is. Oh look, well, yeah, uh, bring that here. Um, maybe uh, what do they call these? An A-frame. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's an a, called an A-frame. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Um, maybe that, I don't know. What I do when I, when I do the, like a basic sketch and then I'll tweak it up and then I'll put it, because I'm going to use watercolour to colour this. So then I'll put my tracing paper over the top, trace it, and often when I'm tracing it, I'll either miss things out, omit things, or add things, just to make it more, go with the flow. Go with the flow, is that the way? Just to make it all cohesive. I've been hearing cohesive a lot, but that's not really the words that I'd use. I'm a commoner, so I'd use common words, so. Yeah, I'd trace it, uh, put it on the paper and there'd be corrections or things I've left out and stuff. Um, yeah, and then I might look at it after the tracing and think I could change it again. So I'll get the tracing paper again and then go over it, add things and that. Um, so it could take hours. But don't worry, you won't be watching that. You're just watching the uh basic idea and then i'll take it away and tweak it because i'm not into that you know how the speed and everything up because you miss a lot of stuff out with the speeding up so you'll just have to listen to my voice blabbering on while i getting my ideas out of my head so to fly it it have to be uh let's say like, uh, what do you call them? A rotary blade from a helicopter. But it's reminding me of that um is it the sycamore tree? Those it's when they drop off the tree they're like twirl down like that. That's what that reminds me of. So maybe because it's like a fantasy house, I could use that. Oh, This is this is supposed to be the chimney. That will be look better. Um, oh, you know what I could do with that? The chimney. So this is the chimney. And sticking out the chimney, I could have a massive balloon. So it looks more like an egg, doesn't it? Um, so if I put some straps on it. Just so they're straps. Um, it could be like one of those, you know, the air balloons with a basket. Or I could just, really simple, and just stick to that. I don't know yet. So that will be coming out of there. Um, maybe it's like, just a few, like, a kite. Yeah, that'd be quite nice. And the ceiling. Oh, but this just, just seems all cluttery. So what about if I add a shed to the house? Oh, I think I put a round window there. Oh, but I don't want to add curtains. Mm. Let me see. So that's the door. Um, steps here. Um, so that would be the mud bit, so, as if it's being pulled out the earth. Um, what about some of these, um, what do you call them, half a barrels? Um, just with some greenery and flowers. One on this side, but I don't like things to match. So if I put that there, it would match with that, but I don't want it to match. So maybe if I put 
different shaped one and that's behind it so even if it was meant to match it wouldn't matter because something's hiding it so what can I this looks like a you know like an umbrella stand or a walker oh then put that I'm just thinking in my head now. I know that looks like a little dude hanging. I'm just thinking about, uh, you know, one of those, what do they call them, mobiles, um, like shells or something, hanging outside your door and they make a nice chimey sound. But I could, instead of that being a walking stick, that could be to hang the chimes on. Hmm, and then have the flowers. Um, so I could still have the greenery and the flowers, but I could have the chime thing at the forefront. Yeah. So instead of that, the um, I'll add a just a basic square window there. This one should we add a circle window? No. No, because you'd need a light, wouldn't you? And with it being like a fairy house or something, I don't suppose it'd have electricity, it would be candles. So maybe if I put a candle out here. But then that stuff, isn't it? It's fixed to the wall, but I mean, I'm sure it'll, uh, it won't be like a light breeze all the time. It'll be very windy, won't it? So that candle wouldn't last two seconds so it's gonna have to be covered so a lantern yeah a lantern fixed to the wall yeah that would be better and with a little door but doesn't it look stuff doesn't it yeah the little door should be in the back or the side so you could change the candle um yes yeah, so when I paint this, um, I think I'll put like little into the building brick things there, but they're not going to be straight and perfect. They're going to be all over. Sorry, I'm going out of frame. I've moved my camera in a different way, so I don't have to keep jumping up and looking. I can just look directly at it and I can see. But there's a great big like a bar stuck right over the middle, so I can't see all of this bit. <laughs> It's really awkward. Gonna have to figure something out, I know. Um, so what was I thinking? Um no, I've lost my thought process. Yeah, I was up to that, wasn't I? So and then have some bushes here. I think what I'll do is, when I do the watercolour, it'll just be like a, a splatter of green here and a splatter of green there. And then I'll get my tiny little brushes out to do the details, to separate the leaves and the grass and everything like that. Um, right. So what I'm going to do is go and tweak it all and then come back with uh, something that I'm happy with. And then I'll do the painting. Um, because... I can see this taking me a good few hours. What I used to do was sit in silence and do me sketching. And then I might listen to music now and again, but it does me head in. But what I found very relaxing is watching those um, TV shows that, uh, what's it called? Homes Under the Hammer and stuff like that. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. Maybe that'll be a new thing for me to encourage me to draw. Uh, instead of just sitting watching the TV and just not doing anything constructive at all. So, yeah, I'm going to tweak this up, come back when I'm going to paint it all and then blabber. Yeah, babble on. Right, okay. Right, so this is the, I was going to say finished piece. It's not finished, but this is what I've decided on. I'll show you what I did from that haphazard sketch I came up with this. I couldn't put the balloon in the chimney because it's just too tall and I wanted to put the mud underneath. So then I did 
the trays then to position everything the way I want it and then trace it onto here. Um, and I'm not going to bother rubbing all that out because every time I do that I just can't see it and then it just ends up a mess. So I'm back with the painting. Um, sorry I couldn't show you the beginning bits because I've got a workman in and out um, and yesterday as well. We're on the 29th now. Normally I have my video complete and uploaded but no. Um, they've capped me gas, cut me gas off because apparently there's a gas leak. <sighs> And I'm waiting for an important phone call, but I just wanted to do some painting because it's relaxing and I'm feeling a bit stressy at the minute. So this is going to relax me, well, hopefully, because I've got to keep on moving. Um, right, so I was going to use ink tents, but as you know, ink tents is permanent and I thought I might want to lift some colour, especially around this balloon because I'm wanting to look, make it look transparent. I don't know if I've done a very good job of that. I don't. <laughs> um, so I painted the roof bit and then they blew over the top for the balloon. Um, not very good at shading. Um, just going to wing it basically. Um, this is the mode where the house has been plucked from its plot. Come on Ziggy, stand in me paint Ziggy. Um, so I'm wanting to mix that up with a few different browns and greys, maybe some stones, I don't know. So I'll shut up talking now, just get on with it and probably speed this up. I'm going to try and do it so my hands aren't covering this bit. So feel free to play some music and this washi tape's not very working very good. So shut up Johnny. So this is the selection of pencils. They are, or other, Albrecht Dura pencils. Well, I'm so sorry, I just couldn't record it. I've had people in and out. It's been stood on. Ziggy sat on it. There's cat hairs. Well, there was cat hairs all over it. Um, it's I spilt the water, the jar of water that you clean your paintbrushes on it. Um... So I've just had to do it in between the workmen going on the brakes and that. So I haven't been able to video it because I didn't fancy talking while there was people in the house. And it would just be noisy for you anyway. Um, am I pleased with it? No. I do feel I could have done better. But I just left everything to the last minute. Um, did enjoy it. Did really enjoy it. Um, means all right, isn't it? It's not fabulous, but I did enjoy it. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? So this is going to be my house when there's no more land to build houses on and I will be flying away with the fairies in the sky. So haven't got anything else to say. I'm just... Uh, next um, collaboration video will be brilliant. This is the first time I've actually done a painting. It, normally I do an art doll, a uh, sculpture. Um, I'm not very good at drawing and painting anyway, but still enjoy it. So, I'm just trying to think. See, it's not scripted. I'm trying to think of what else I've got to say. Um, I'll leave everyone else's details down below. I just can't wait to see what they've come up with. Unfortunately, Annie said she couldn't join us this time because she's been really busy. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it. Johnny's signing out. See you bye.